here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 The moon was rising over Moomin Valley. The moon's full tonight. Looks big, doesn't it? Yes, and then when it gets higher, it gets smaller. Looks smaller, surely. You can never be sure with moons. No. Oh. What's up? The witch is flying again. The witch? Where? Uh, all the way up there against the moon. Oh, yes, I see her now. It does make me feel sorry for the snork. But when he's built his flying ship, he'll be up there, too. Well, he's been trying to build it for an awfully long time, if you ask me. Snork Maiden told me he started building a new design. Perhaps this next one will work. Even so, Moomin, we shouldn't mention the Flying Witch to him. Huh? Why shouldn't we do that, Papa? Because the Snork's working very hard on his ship. Yes. But all the witch has to do is straddle a silly old broom, utter some gibberish, and off she swoops, just like that. It seems so unfair. I'm going to go to bed now, Snork. Okay. Always working this late can't be good for you. I've done it. Done what? This is a material strengthener. If you pour it on paper or cloth, they won't tear. Did you invent that for your flying ship? Of course. You're the first person to know, so make sure you don't tell anyone. All right. Is this your new design? Yes. Doesn't look very much like a ship anymore. No, the old one was too heavy. It burned up far too much fuel. This new design should be very light. It's partly made from cloth. And to make it strong enough, I'm going to dip it in my new liquid. It's an important scientific discovery. Oh, Snork, you really are a clever scientist. It's not right yet. Why not? My new ship will take off beautifully, as you'd expect since I designed it. But I haven't worked out how I'm going to make it go where I want it to. Oh, what are you looking at, little Mai? Water. What's so special about it? Bubbles. Bubbles? Oh, yes. They just keep on coming up from that spot. There were some big ones earlier. They're just bubbles. But who's making them? That's what I want to know. Well, I expect it's just a bit of dead plant rotting away. You don't suppose there's a special sort of bubble fish that's lurking under the stone? No, or at least I don't think it is. Mama! Mm hmm? Please, can I have some of that soap you're using? Whatever for? To blow soap bubbles. Of course, Moomin. Do you think that'll be enough? Yep. I think you've got to wait until the soap is dissolved, little Mai. Ow. To blow bigger bubbles. You get more if they're small. There must be a way of making bigger ones than this. Try not blowing so hard. Well, I reckon this soap is too old, or else we should put in some more. 
Oh, Bubbles, how wonderful. Can I try blowing some, too? Of course. Hmm. Well, that's strange. <laughs> Is this just soap and water you've got in here? Should we have put something else in, too? Oh, yes, indeed. That explains why your bubbles are so small. So what other things do we need to add, Mr. Hamulin? Well, when I was little, we used to use rosin. Rosin? Yes, rosin makes the bubbles stronger, so you can blow bigger ones, and they last longer, too. I found some! Is this the stuff? It must be. That should do it. Let's try it. Aha, so the Hamulin was exactly right. Let me have a try now. They're great! Yes, but I want even bigger bubbles now. Oh! Oh, yes! What is it? I think I know what we could do to make really big bubbles, Moomin. My sister told me the witch has been seen flying around on that broom of hers. Well, yes, she has. But you're still working on your flying ship, aren't you? Of course, I'll fly scientifically. I wouldn't even want to be able to fly using magic and a broomstick. Of course, you wouldn't snork. It's like this. Flying on a broom is too easy. Or oh, maybe not easy, but unscientific. Mm, that it is. But witches have to take lots of lessons before they can fly a broom. You, you don't suppose it's some sort of trick? No, it's done by magic, all right. But they might have chosen something nicer to sit on, like an armchair, perhaps. Well, Snork, you stick to your scientific methods. Show her it's possible to fly without spells. I will, Moomin Papa. Thanks. We're counting on you, Snork Maiden. Don't you worry. I'm sure he'll give us some. After all, we don't need much. We'd better not have come all this way for nothing. You sure the Snork's new stuff will work in our bubbles? Of course, the Snork stuff always works. Snork, may I come in, Snork? No one here. He should lock the door. Anyone could take his new wonder liquid. What do you expect? He's an inventor, not a shopkeeper. Here it is. Sure? Of course. Doesn't look that special to me. You'd think it might fizz at least. Are you sure it'll do what we want? Oh, I'm certain. I'll show you. We ought to wait for the snort to come back. He won't mind. You sure? It'll only be a couple of drops. But Snort made I'll tell him as soon as he gets back. Yeah, that's soon enough. Can't be fairer than that. I can't wait to make some really enormous bubbles. This is a scientific experiment. The Snork will be delighted to know if this goo works for soap bubbles, too. Just think, you're really doing him a favor. I'll pour some in. Just don't put in too much. <gasps> oh! That was rather a lot. Maybe too much. That's better than not enough, though. Be careful, little Mai. Stand back. You never know what'll happen. It could explode. <sighs> oh! <gasps> oh! <sighs> wow, that's the biggest yet. It looks like the Snork's invention works on bubbles. <sighs> and it's still getting bigger. That looks like a really strong bubble, doesn't it? And it floats beautifully, too. It still hasn't exploded. Let's try and send it out through the window. Bye. Let's blow some more outside. Perhaps we could get them even bigger. This is really fun. Take it easy now, little Mai. Hmm? Huh? Mm, mm, mm. Uh, little Mai, 
I stop blowing? Leave me alone. I'm making a super bubble. <gasps> get into bubbles as well. <gasps> You'll have to make bigger bubbles than my one, though, so you'd better get blowing. How do you get inside? Just do as I do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just push a little harder. Yes, she's made it. <sighs> this is wonderful. It's so strong, it just won't break. <laughs> Look out, Moomin. I'm coming up there with you. <laughs> yes, let's! Where to? <laughs> let's go to Moomin Valley so they can see us. They're gonna have the surprise of their lives. <laughs> let's go up higher. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, smells pretty good. Soap bubbles, huh? I think I'll try that. Here goes. <sighs> Ugh. I think those bubbles have gone down a bit funny. Ew. Snork! Snork! Huh? I'm right above you. Look up! What? Oh, my goodness. Look, we're flying in giant soap bubbles. What have they done? They're real bubbles, Snork. We blew them ourselves. We borrowed some of your wonder liquid, but only a few drops. We'd have asked, only you weren't there. You what? Your invention is a great success. These bubbles seem completely indestructible. Come down here at once, Snork Maiden, and let me investigate them properly. Maybe a bit later, Snork, but not now. Why not? Because we haven't worked out how to control what height they float at yet. There's still lots of things we've got to learn. Why don't you just make yourself one of these? It'd be a lot easier than building a flying ship, I can tell ya. <laughs> Typically unscientific. Hey, where are you all going? Wait for me! Snufkin! Papa! Mama! Moomin is coming down from the sky in a huge bubble. A bubble? Snufkin! Moomin! And little Mai, too. And my sister. Dear, whatever have you been doing? There's a wonderful view from up here, Mama. That's nice, but don't you think it might be time to come down? Except they don't seem to know how. So how do we get dinner to them? What if the bubbles should burst up there? They never burst, Moomin Mama. How do you know? Because they've been reinforced with my latest invention. Listen, you guys, try and grab that ladder. All right. I want to keep on floating around. No, you don't. By tea time, you'll be shouting to get down. Grab it. <gasps> Hurry up, little Moi. Get out of my way, then, Snork Maiden and Moo Man. Oh. Well done, little Moi. <gasps> I'm scared. The bubbles are pulling the ladder up. This could be very bad. Oh, the wind's starting 
to blow. Hang on tight, Snort Maiden. Oh, help me, oh. Blue Man. Oh. 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 Where are you guys going like that? I'm coming too. Oh. Stop! Wait for me! Yeah. Oh, what a disaster. They could be blown along like that for thousands of miles. Can't you think of something, Snufkin? We have to find a way to bring them down again. Our only chance would be to ask the witch for help. Do you really think the witch would help us? Of course she would. This is serious. Awful bubbles. Whoa, what is going on here? Moomin, we're going to crash into that mountain. Hang on. Perhaps the air currents will carry us right over the top of it. I hope they do. I can do with finding out what's on the other side. So you don't know when your grandmother will come back. No, last night she didn't come back till after dark. <sighs> Who knows what witches get up to all day long? I've no idea what or where she goes. She'll be flying around somewhere, I expect. We'll have to find her before the children get blown so far away that we never see them again. We've been blowing across the sea for ages. I don't think this is very much fun anymore. Oh, little my sleeping. And Moomin is too. Wake up, both of you. Oh, please wake up. as though you're drifting apart. Yes, I know. Please, you must help us to get home. I might. But you'd have to make it worth my while. Tell me about this ball you're flying in. I will tell you I will. Only please save us first. Oh, very well. Ball follow. Help me! Somebody help me! Thank you. I can't get down from here, Mom and Papa! The same as with the others. Careful, he's foaming at the mouth. This isn't foam, it's soap bubbles. Don't just stand there, help me! Little Mai is still sleeping. Just let her keep sleeping. She's less trouble that way. Look, there they are. What? With a flying witch? Mama! Snork! Hi, Snork Maiden. Oh, thank you very much. This is all the help I can give you. Don't expect me to get them out of the balloons, Mama. Oh, please help us with that, too. I can't. My witchcraft doesn't seem to have any effect on the strength of these balloons. I think I can be of assistance with that. Oh, so you're the little scientist. And you're the big witch. Some scientist who can't get his own bubbles down from the sky. Some witch you can't spell away into a soap bubble, huh? Snork, stop it. You can argue later if you must. Sorry. Would you get me a candle, scissors, and matches, please? Hmm. You don't need a scientist to light a candle, then burn things and use scissors on them. No, perhaps not. But you need one to think of it. Hey! Help! Everyone, help! What? 
Another one. Moomin Papa. Snuffkin. And Stinky. Look, the wish is down there. She'll help us. Oh, boy, am I ever glad to see her. You keep your mouth shut. Just don't make any more bubbles. Please help us again. Would you use your magic to bring them down, too? I'm sure our great scientist here will come up with some clever way of saving them. But you know I can't fly yet. That's your field, madam. Please help them. Oh, well, I suppose I'll have to. Oh, Whoop. here I go. Thank you, Snork. So tell me, Moomin, how did you get inside there? Oh, it was quite easy when the bubbles were fresh, but then they got stronger. Interesting. That's something I hadn't discovered yet. What a nice collection of bubbles. Maybe we ought to keep it up here as an experiment. Dad, you couldn't be that mean. Quiet, Sticky. Don't make any more bubbles. Whatever are they arguing for? Don't worry, Moomin. The witch just likes to tease people a bit. Very true. I bet she's feeling really important now. Hi. What are we doing back here? Oh, look, they're coming down. And so the bubble incident was brought to a happy conclusion with a little science and a little help from the witch, working hand in hand, although maybe not the greatest of friends.